back at the net. Oh, what a combination. Just had to hope that went. Key approach, but he was able to pull off that point. Back to back aces to end the first set for Andy Murray. Oh, made that look fairly. He got him. it away. Just sumptuous again. He's out in front once again. Oh. Oh. A nighttime thriller in Antwerp goes the way of Andy Murray. Well, there's the theatre we were talking about. And now the crowd have something to get their teeth stuck into. We said he needed to feed them so that they could feed him. Is that the moment? Oh, it's sumptuous. What a shot. And what a performance from Yannick Sinner, who does indeed take his opportunity when he needed to. Too good. <laughs> He's on fire here, Tiafo, playing his best tennis at 3 6, love 3 down. No. Oh, he's made it. <laughs> How dare you, says Tiafo. 
Well, that is a, a pickup from another planet. And even Sinner allows himself a little smile. He can move, can't he, Sinner? I never thought he was going to get there. Neither did Tierfo. It's stunned as he sees that ball go past him. Oh, terrific. What an adjustment there. Changes the body shape. And it's unplayable from Tiafo. <laughs> it's a knockout blow. <laughs> I hear you. It's unbelievable. The level of this match is off the charts. Has he made it? Yes, he has. Yet more touch. And we're seeing lots of brawn, but a lot of brain as well. And I think he's in shock with what he's just achieved there. Would you believe it? We have had everything here. Sinner on the hunt to try and retrieve the break. And how good was this for reaction? To be able to hit a volley like that off the net court. It's such a big time to produce. It's unbelievable. Tiafo is quite simply playing tennis from another world here. <laughs> oh, he's been hit with a, a real blow, I think, Sinat. But let's just look at Tiafo initially with the shot between the leg. Titanic from Tiafo. Scarcely believable. And the hurricane from Maryland has blown Yannick Senna out of Vienna.
game for Seth Alcaraz. Game Murray. Second set, Murray. of the week mesmerizing stuff from both men one of the points in the week one of the points in the season 34 of the highest quality shots set of tennis. It's an incredible service game. Then what a backhand this is from Djokovic, and what a time to produce it as it caught the line it has. Just had a different feel about it, that service game. And all of a sudden this match has a different feel. This time no mistakes though. Jokovic. So a set of peace. Say quattro, six game to four. Oh, what a touch from Djokovic. 
Almost a no look at Folly there. Zero, 14, One down, three to go. Alexander Zverev holds his nerve and beats the world number one, the five-time champion Novak Djokovic. It is the 2018 champion Zverev who is back in the final where he'll face Daniel Medvedev for one of the biggest trophies in the sport. A second victory over the Serb this season. And it will be a sixth final of the year for the German. What a performance that was. Well, there's a bit of variety. There's more than one way to hit a forehand winner. We're going to see some of the quickest ones in the game from Alcaraz. Well, the forehand looked long. There was no challenge. Didn't need to be in the end. Once a bit more volume. Again, wonderful movement, court coverage, ability to track balls down. Abersi erupts once more. to be kidding me how on earth has he won that point refusing to give up yeah. Alcaraz pounding away and he has double break five in a row then Well, nobody saw this coming. It's Gaston's to win now, surely. Another break. Bercy goes wild again. 16 points in a row for the Frenchman. You feel for Alcaraz, head in the towel, head in his hands. I'm sure he's feeling emotional under there. Can't believe what has happened. Hit a million tennis balls in his life. Preparation to become a player and break through, but. Very hard to prepare for an atmosphere like this. Everyone against him. He's done it. That's one of the most remarkable sets of tennis you will see. from five love down. He's produced somehow a straight sets victory. He is an escape artist extraordinaire, this guy.
They've got a Frenchman in the last eight. And he moves into his very first Masters quarter-final. Oh, whipped away in style. Beauty. Outstanding from Massetti. That's wonderfully coloured. Brilliant touch. No way. Can you believe that point? <laughs> well, just remarkable. The speed and the agility of both players tonight. Yeah, nearly done. Oh, bamboozled. Got him. It's just magic Eight, from Gascon. Seven. Oh, fantastic. Well, that time it's some Musetti Eight, magic. Just flick to this, so much pace to it. Lorenzo Massetti wins the longest match in the history of this event in Milan.